Hello everyone, welcome to another makeover episode of Art Whisper 88. Now this is a piece that I had done a few months ago with metallic gold and some reusable stencils. And again, I want to add some graphic elements to it with some collage. I mean, as you can see, it's a very pretty surface with the metallic colors. But I, again, I find it very safe. I want it to be a little more exciting. And I always am interested in pushing the boundaries and breaking up the symmetry of this piece. So let me get going with the elements that I want to add. So I have here my metallic warm-up exercise on copper colored paper. Again, this will be like the main character in this story. And then I have some black, some more of my black tissue paper warm-up exercises. Now, I think in adding these graphic elements, I make the image more interesting and break up the sameness of the background. Okay, I will start with these three elements. And as usual, I am using my dilute Mod Podge. And let me put my bib on. This is just to protect the edges from drips as I get clumsy sometimes. And the good thing about using this tissue paper is once it gets mounted, it really disappears. And a little of this goes a long way. 
especially when it's diluted. Here is the third and last piece. Now some makeover pieces are more easy than others. This one is fairly easier because it has a very attractive background. So I really don't need to need to add too much color. Okay, I think that's a great improvement in terms of interest. So let me air dry this piece and move on to the next one, which I want to remake now this piece if you can remember was a demonstration of pastel transfer and again it it's very highly textured and a lot of a lot of action going on but I think it needs some main characters because there's a kind of a sameness all throughout the print so I want to transform this from a print into more more of a painting like so I will put the bib on. And I will start introducing some elements. these uh, striped pieces and here's a dotted piece
No, it needs something here. A main event here. Now there's there are a few rips here and there, but that's okay. Okay, that uh, really transforms the composition. I didn't add too many bright colors. Instead, I just added black and white, and it already changes the character of this image. Okay, that is piece number two. We'll move on to the third piece. Now this is a ghost print and it has a lot of intricate textures but again I want to break up the sameness of it by introducing some main characters. So here's my bib again. And this time I want to use this copper colored tissue.
Okay. I think that changes the character already. Okay, I think that does it for this third piece. Again, as usual, I will air dry all three pieces and decide what the next step will be. Okay, everybody, these are now dry. The uh, desk fan did a good job. So I am going to put my favorite marks with my high flow acrylic. And I'm going to do a very bold, large oval. Okay, so that's it for the first piece. Okay, that's for piece number two. That is for piece number three. So again, I will air dry all of these 
and then recap when these are dry because handling these wet pieces is tricky. I don't want to have an accident. So I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, here's my favorite part of this video where I get to show you the before and after. But first of all, let me show you a close up. I think the addition of the graphic elements make the piece more interesting because there's a different focus. And what happens is the pretty colors and the textures recede into the background. And the bold gestures of the collage become the focal point. Now I will push this to one side and you can see the difference between the before and after. So that is piece number one. Here's the second piece. Again, I'm going to put this to one side and you can see the before. And it definitely changes the character of the piece. So on to the third piece. I think this one is my favorite because of the colors and the elements. And in this case, the white tissue paper has a, like a shadow. It's normally the white tissue paper disappears when it's mounted, but since it's on a dark background, you can see the texture of the, te the tissue, which I like a lot. Again, I will put this to one side and you can see what it looked like before. I hope you like this video. 
I had quite a bit of fun doing these pieces over. And uh, I think it's a good practice to look back at your past pieces and rethink them and reimagine them. It keeps your creative juices going. Again, thank you for watching, for subscribing, and for those who have given their support to my PayPal, thank you, and I deeply appreciate your support. I hope to see you next time.